Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about one of the most excited and let's be honest, controversial topics in the tech world right now is the rumored MacBook SE. We've all seen this leaks, we've heard the whispers and now with enough information to ask the big question. How does a laptop with an iPhone chip stack up against the tried and true MacBook Air with an M series chip? This is the MacBook SE 18 Pro versus MacBook Air M series. Let's get into it. So first, let's break down what are we actually looking at here. On one side, we have MacBook Air. It's the laptop that redefined the consumer laptop market with Apple Silicon with its M series chips. The MacBook Air has become a powerhouse, offering incredible performance and legendary battery life for a starting price around $999. On the other side, we have the MacBook SE. This is a brand new category for Apple, a device rumored to be an even more affordable entry point into the Mac ecosystem. Leaks suggest it will be powered by a18 Pro chip, the same processor pound in the latest iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. Its price is rumored to be in $649 to $799 range, making it a truly budget friendly option. Now let's talk about the heart of these machines. This is where the debate gets interesting. The M series chips like the M1, M2, M3 and now the M4 were designed from the ground up for Mac laptops. The system on chip or SOC, designed with focus and sustained performance on a load. They have active calling or in the case of Air, a passive but highly effective thermal design to handle longer, more intensive tasks. The A18 Pro on the other hand is a mobile chip. It's an absolute beast for its smartphone but it's designed to operate in a completely different power and bulb. It's optimized for short bursts of high performance and exceptional power efficiency in fanless than device. Let's look at the numbers. Based on the leaked benchmarks, the 18 Pro chip single core performance is incredibly impressive. It's rumored to come dangerously close to the M3 and M4 chips, and in some single core tests, it even beats the M1. This is a massive win for the 18 Pro, meaning for everyday single threaded tasks like web browse, editing documents or streaming video, it will likely feel no difference between the two. But the story changes when it took a multi-core performance. The M service chips are built with a more performance core and large unified memory architecture, giving them a significant advantage in multi-thread tasks. Ori Benchmark shows the 18 Pro's multi-core performance landing somewhere in the ballpark of the M1, while the newer M service chips, especially M3 and M4, were as well ahead. So. What does this mean in the real world? If a student writing papers, a remote worker using cloud-based apps, or a casual user just browse the web and watch YouTube, the MacBook SE with 18 Pro is going to pull snappy, responsive, and incredibly fast. It's a perfect machine for those who like computing needs. However, if you're a career professional, developer, or a gamer, the MacBook Air with an M series chip is still a clear winner. Tasks like exploring a porky video, compiling large code bases, or playing graphical demanding games will be noticeably faster and more stable on the M series machines. The M series chips are built to handle sustained, heavily workloads without throttling. Now, beyond the chip, what other differences can we expect? The MacBook SE is rumored to be a repurposed device. Men and Apple will likely use the older design to keep costs down. We might see a thicker chassis than the Air, possibly with a larger bezels and no notch. It will likely come up with a 13-inch display and could even support some punk color options similar to the original M1 iMac. The port selection is also expected to be limited, with possibly a single USB-C port and a headphone jack. The M series MacBook Air, on the other hand, offers a more modern design, better displays, and more versatile connectivity, including tenable support. So who is each laptop for? The MacBook Air with an M series chip is still the all-around champion. It's a perfect blend of performance, portability, and better life for a wide range of users, from students to professionals. But the MacBook SE with the 18 Pro chip is a game changer. It's for the user who wants the macOS experience, the security, the stability and the Apple ecosystem without paying the pro price tag. It's a perfect second computer for the family, a student's pro laptop or a simple reliable machine for anyone who doesn't need to push their computer to its limits. The rumored MacBook SE isn't just replacement for the MacBook Air. It's a new, more accessible entry point. It's Apple strategy made to bring the power of Mac to an even wider audience. And honestly, 
I think it's a win for everyone. What do you think? Are you excited about the MacBook SE? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech on it. See you in the next one.